Are we ready? And if somebody needs extra time, we can go back to the question. Um, that's not a problem. Uh, let's do question number one. You want me to read it? What would cause a broadcast AM or FM radio to receive an amateur radio transmission unintentionally? A, the audio amplifier of the transmitter is overloaded. B, the receiver is unable to reject strong signals outside the AM or FM band. C, the microphone gain of the transmitter is turned up too high. Or D, the deviation of an FM transmitter is set too low. Okay, moving on. Question two, what is the basic unit of electromotive force? A, the volt, B, the watt, C, the ampere, or D, the ohm? Anybody need more time? Okay, moving on. Question three, what is a commonly used method of sending signals to and from a digital satellite? A, PSK31, B, FM packet, C, USB AFSK, or D, WSJT? Okay, moving on. Number four, if a frequency readout calibrated in megahertz shows a reading of 3.525 megahertz, what would it show if it were calibrated in kilohertz? You can get up and, and look at the screen if it's... Okay. Five, what is a disadvantage of the rubber duck antenna supplied with most handheld radio transceivers? A, it does not transmit or receive as effectively as a full-sized antenna. B, it transmits a circularly polarized signal. C, if the rubber end cap is lost, it will unravel very quickly. Or D, all of these choices are correct. That's what happened to that lady, right? She was nibbling on her antenna. Yeah. It unraveled and shocked her. Actually, it got next to one of her fillings, and <coughs> that's what caused the danger. Okay. Six, what is meant by the term PTT? A. Precise tone transmissions used to limit repeater access to only certain signals. B. Pre-transmission tuning to reduce transmitter harmonic emission. C. The push-to-talk function which switches between receive and transmit. Or D. A primary transformer tuner used to match antennas.
Are we okay? Just tell me if you want to wait. Number seven, on which of the following occasions may an FCC licensed amateur station exchange messages with a U.S. military station? A. During a propagation test. B. During an Independence Day celebration. C. During a, a Memorial Day celebration. Or D. During an Armed Forces Day communications test. Okay. Number eight. Why are direct, not via a repeater, UHF signals rarely heard from stations outside your local coverage area? A. They collide with trees and shrubbery and fade out. B. UHF signals are usually not reflected by the ionosphere. C. FCC regulations prohibit them from going more than 50 miles. Or D. They are too weak to go very far. Okay. Number nine, what is the approximate bandwidth of a single sideband voice signal? A, six kilohertz, B, one kilohertz, C, 15 kilohertz, or D, three kilohertz? Okay. What are the frequency limits of the VHF spectrum? A, 30 to 300 megahertz. B, 30 to 300 kilohertz. C, 300 to 3000 megahertz. Or D, 300 to 3000 kilohertz. Okay. Number 11. What is considered to be a proper grounding method for a tower? A. A single four foot ground rod driven into the ground no more than 12 inches from the base. B. A ferrite core RF choke connected between the tower and ground. C. Separate eight foot long ground rods for each tower leg bonded to the tower and each other. D, a connection between the tower base and a cold water pipe. Okay. So what type of switch is represented by component three in figure two? The answers are A, single pole, single throw, B, single pole, double throw, C, double pole, single throw, or D, double pole, double throw. Okay. 13. What is the unit of frequency? A. Henry. B. Farad. C. Hertz. D. Tesla.
okay? What could happen if a person accidentally touched your antenna while you were transmitting? A. Touching the antenna could cause television interference. B. They might develop radiation poisoning. C. They might receive a painful RF burn. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Okay, no. moving on. 15. Which of the following is accurately represented in electrical circuit schematic diagrams? A. All of the choices are correct. B. Wire links. C. The physical appearance of components. Or D. The way components are interconnected. Okay. 16. What antenna polarization is normally used for long distance, weak signal, CW, and SSB contacts using the VHF and UHF bands? A. Vertical. B. Right hand circular. C. Horizontal. D. Left hand circular. Seventeen, what is the correct way to connect a voltmeter to a circuit? A. In quadrature with the circuit. B. In parallel with the circuit. C. In series with the circuit. Or D. In phase with the circuit. Okay. 18. What is the current flow in a circuit with an applied voltage of 120 volts and a resistance of 80 ohms? Applied voltage of 120 volts and a resistance of 80 ohms. Possible answers are A. 1.5 amperes. B, 9,600 amperes. C, 0 0.667 amperes. Or D, 200 amperes. If you were taking the test, you know, in the, in the class session or in the, in the test session and you didn't know the answer, you could just skip down and, and continue on and come back. And that might be, you know, appropriate strategy. Just I, make sure you don't get confused. And, and yeah, jump a, a, your answer sheet out of synchronization with your, the questions. But shall I move on? Do we need more time? We'll move on. 19. Which of the following is an example of a digital communications method? A. All of these choices are correct. 
B, Packet, C, PSK31, D, MFSK. Twenty. What determines the amount of deviation of an FM as opposed to PM signal? A. The amplitude of the modulating signal. B. Both the frequency and amplitude of the modulating signal. C. The frequency of the modulating signal. Or D the relative phase of the modulating signal and the carrier. Twenty-one. What is the grace period following the expiration of an amateur license within which the license may be renewed? A. Five years. B. Two years. C. Three years. D. Ten years. Question 22. What may happen if a transmitter is operated with the microphone gain set too high? A. The SWR might increase. B. The output signal might become distorted. C. The output power might be too high. D. The frequency might vary. Okay. 23. Which of the following is a permissible use of the amateur radio service? A. Providing low cost communications for startup businesses. B. Allowing a person to conduct radio experiments and to communicate with other licensed hams around the world. C. Broadcasting music and videos to friends, or D, providing a way for amateur radio operators to earn additional income by using their stations to pass messages. You'd be like a notary public, they charge. <laughs> Twenty-four. What type of identification is being used when identifying a station on the air as race headquarters? A. An official call sign reserved for racies drills. B. Tactical call sign. C. Broadcast station. Or D. SSID. Okay. 25. What determines the transmitting privileges of an amateur station? A. The class of operator license held by the station licensee. B. The highest class of operator license held by anyone on the premises. C. The frequency authorized by the frequency coordinator. Or D. 
the class of operator license held by the control operator. Twenty-six. Which of the following is a result of the fact that the amateur service is secondary in some portions of the 70 centimeter band? A. Digital transmissions are not permitted on 70 centimeters. B. U.S. amateurs must give foreign amateur stations priority in those portions. C. U.S. amateurs may find non-amateur stations in the bands and must avoid interfering with them. Or D. International communications are not permitted on 70 centimeters. Twenty-seven. What is required in place of on-air station identification when sending signals to a radio control model using amateur frequencies? A. A label indicating the licensee's name, call sign, and address must be affixed to the transmitter. B. Voice identification must be transmitted every 10 minutes. C. Morse code ID must be sent once per hour, or D, a flag must be affixed to the transmitter antenna with the station call sign in one inch high letters or larger. 28. What electrical difference exists between the smaller RG58 and larger RG8 coaxial cables? A. RG58 cable can handle higher power levels. B. There is no significant difference between the two types. C. RG58 cable has less loss at a given frequency. D. RG8 cable has less loss at a given frequency. 29. What kind of hazard might exist in a power supply when it is turned off and disconnected? A. Static electricity could damage the grounding system. B. You might receive an electric shock from the charge stored in large capacitors. C. The fuse might blow if you remove the cover. Or D. Circulating currents inside the transformer might cause damage. 30. What could be happening if another operator reports a variable high-pitched whine on the audio from your mobile transmitter? A. You have the volume on your receiver set too high. B. Your microphone is picking up noise from an open window. C. You need to adjust your squelch control. Or D. Noise on the vehicle's electrical system is being transmitted along with your speech audio. 31. What electrical component is usually composed of a coil of wire? A. Inductor B. Diode C. Capacitor D. Switch Thirty-two. What do RACES and ARES, or R A C E S and A R E S, have in common? 
A, both organizations broadcast road and weather information. B, neither may handle emergency traffic supporting public service agencies. C, they represent the two largest ham clubs in the United States. Or D, both organizations may provide communications during emergencies. Thirty-three. Why should the outer jacket of coaxial cable be resistant to ultraviolet light? A. Ultraviolet and RF signals can mix together, causing interference. B. Ultraviolet resistant jackets prevent harmonic radiation. C. Ultraviolet light can increase losses in the cable's jacket. Or D, ultraviolet light can damage the jacket and allow water to enter the cable. 34. What is an appropriate way to call another station on a repeater if you know the other station's call sign? A. Wait for the station to call CQ and then answer it. B. Say CQ three times, then the other station's call sign. C. Say break, break, then say the station's call sign. Or D. Say the station's call sign, then identify with your call sign. 35. What are the names of the two electrodes of a diode? A. Source and drain. B. Anode and cathode. C. Gate and base. Or D. Plus and minus. So, how do you feel? Good? Yeah? All right, let's find out. All right, I'm just going to, we're at 818, so we don't have a lot of time. So I'm just going to whip through these, and I'm going to sit down. <laughs> so number one is B. The receiver is unable to reject strong signals outside the AM or FM band. Two is A, the basic unit of electromotive force is the volt. Three is B, what is commonly used method of sending signals to and from a digital satellite, that's FM packet. Four, if a frequency readout calibrated in megahertz shows a reading of 3.525 megahertz, what would it show? C, 3,525 kilohertz. Number four, what is the disadvantage of the rubber duck antenna? A, it does not transmit or receive as effectively as a full-sized antenna. Six, what is meant by PTT? C, the push-to-talk function. Seven, on which of the following occasions my an amateur station exchange messages with military, D, during the Armed Forces Day communications test. Eight, why are direct, not via repeater, UHF signals rarely heard? B, UHF signals are usually not reflected by the ionosphere. Nine, what is the approximate bandwidth of a single sideband signal? D, 3 kilohertz. What are the frequency limits of the VHF spectrum? That would be A, 30 to 300 megahertz. 11. What is considered to be a proper grounding method for a tower? We covered it tonight. 
C, separate eight foot long ground rods for each tower leg bonded to the tower and to each other. 12, what type of switch is represented by component three? That's a single pole, single throw. 13, the unit of frequency is C, the hertz. Not a rental car. 14, what could happen if a person accidentally touched your antenna while you were transmitting? C, they might receive a painful RF burn. 15, which of the following is accurately represented in schematic diagrams? D, the way components are interconnected. 16, what antenna polarization is normally used for long distance weak signal CW and single sideband contacts using VHF and UHF? That's horizontal, C. 17 is B, correct way to connect a voltmeter to a circuit in parallel with the circuit. 18, what is the current flow in a circuit with 120 volts and a resistance of 80 ohms. It's Ohm's law. I equals E over R. 120 divided by 80 is 1.5 amperes. That's A. 19. Which of the following is an example of a digital communications method? A. All of the above. 20. What determines the amount of deviation of an FM as opposed to phase modulated or PM signal? A. The amplitude of the modulating signal. 20A. 21. What is the grace period? B. Two years. 22. What may happen if a transmitter is operated with the microphone gain set too high? B, the output signal might be distorted. 23, which of the following is a permissible use of the amateur radio service? B, allowing a person to conduct radio experiments and communicate with other hams. 24, what type of identification is been being used when identifying as race headquarters? That's a tactical call <coughs> sign. That's B, 24B. 25, what determines the transmitting privileges? D, the class of operator license held by the control operator, who is designated as the control operator. 26. Which of the following is a result of the fact that the amateur service is secondary in some portions of 70 centimeters? C. U.S. amateurs may find non-amateur stations in the bands and must avoid interfering with them. 27. What is required in place of an on-air station identification? A. A label indicating the licensee's name, call sign, and address must be affixed to the transmitter. I think I said one evening it wasn't in the technician test. It is in the technician test. We also had to study for the general. 28. What electrical differences exist between the smaller RG58 and larger RG8? D. RG8 cable has less loss at a given frequency. Does it cost more? Yes. Because yes. it's bigger, right? Yes. Right, yes. It'll handle higher power levels, too. 29. What kind of hazard might exist in a power supply when it's turned off? B. You might receive an electric shock from the charged stored in large capacitors. Charge stored, not charged, but anyway. 30. What could be happening if another operator reports a variable high-pitched whine? D, noise on the vehicle's electrical system is being transmitted along with your speech audio. That's alternator whine. If you want to smell. <laughs> 31, 
What electrical component is usually composed of a coil of wire? That's A, an inductor. 32, what do RACES and ARIES have in common? D, both organizations may provide communications during emergencies. 33, why should the outer jacket of coaxial cable be resistant to UV light? D, ultraviolet light can damage the jacket and allow water to enter the cable. Remember, moisture is always the, the demon of coaxial cable. 34, what is an appropriate way to call another station on a repeater if you know the other station's call sign? D, say the station's call sign, then identify with your call sign. And finally, 35, what are the names of the two electrodes of a diode? B, anode, and cathode. <laughs> So anyway, um, this is the beauty of taking practice tests. It gives you a measure of how you're doing. I'm not going to ask how you're doing. You know. Um, you need 26 questions correct in order to pass the test. And so if you're not quite there yet, then keep going, keep studying, keep taking practice tests to point you as to where your weak areas are.